I find it incredibly ironic that a bunch of juice head monkeys oh, oh, are critiquing Athlene X for using fake weights. They are just as fake themselves by creating an unrealistic body image by using performance enhancing drugs, which is far worse, especially considering the context. So the original drama happened earlier in June where people exposed Athlene X aka Jeff Cavalier, the most popular fitness influencer on YouTube, I think he has around 11 million subs, for using fake weights in some very old fitness videos. People are claiming that he was using heavy fake weights for social media clout, and yeah, appearing stronger to people will help you make yourself look better, and the videos of Jeff using those fake weights were from 2014 and 2015, and he only appeared to do it in two or three videos. The guy has over 1,100 videos on his channel, and to say that three videos where he used fake weights from 2014 to 2015 contribute at all to his credibility is absolutely comical. I don't know why anyone is addressing this at all. You know, he didn't create his persona on steroids or being a fake natty like most of these fitness influencers do. It was through his knowledge, hard work, and consistency. You could say he's the best at what he does on YouTube, and yet he still has a bunch of losers that like belittling people and critiquing them for whatever they do wrong. I can't emphasize how stupid this is to me. Does this sit the same way with anyone else? It's like bringing up a mistake you made in high school when you're the CEO of a company. It makes absolutely zero sense. And listen, I'm not sucking up to Jeff here. I think the guy's a very savvy businessman, AKA intelligent crook. No one gets to the point he has without bending the rules a bit, and that's completely fine as long as you're helping people without ripping them off too much. I don't keep track of these guys, so I don't know what he offers, what products he sells, you know, if the programs are truly effective, but it's safe to say that he's doing the same fitness stuff everyone else is in a more successful fashion selling overpriced programs as well as supplements, and you can't deny the guy's resume. Jeff Cavalier, MSPT, CSCS, served as both the head physical therapist and assistant strength coach for the New York Mets during the National League East Championship 2006, 2007, and 2008 seasons, and coached some of the game's most accomplished players, including future Hall of Fame pitchers Tom Glavine and Pedro Martinez, and perennial all-stars Carlos Delgado, Carlos Beltran, David Wright, Jose Reyes, and Bill Wagner, to name just a few. He is a certified strength and conditioning specialist by the National Strength and Conditioning Association. To put it lightly, this guy knows more than just about everyone else on YouTube, and more than I ever likely will. That job he had working for the Mets is the best you can practically get from a sports physiology perspective, you know, working for a professional sports team. And that's not to say he's the best guy to go to for strength training or hypertrophy specifically, but you know he has a great base of knowledge and can point you in the right direction. What's interesting to me is, you know, I would say I look pretty good, nearly as good as him, fairly objectively, but I don't know a fraction of what he does about exercise. I'm not, you know, 5% as qualified as he is to be a strength and conditioning coach for the New York Mets, although I'd love to give it a shot. Look, the guy might be connected out his ass, but he still works hard and is spreading a mostly positive message. All of these meathead monkeys ooh, ooh, using steroids and pointing out the fake weights are the ultimate hypocrites. The only reason people expect someone to be that strong in the first place, deadlift five plates, bench press three plates, is because steroids exist. If steroids didn't exist, the whole concept of what strong is would be far from the current reality. Everyone is literally watching strongman videos every other day and thinks bench pressing 600 pounds is achievable. There aren't too many meathead monkeys, ooh, ooh, aka steroid users and TRT users, I'm looking at you too, who are completely transparent of what that entails. Reason being is they would lose a large portion of their viewer base, the true natural weightlifters. So these juice boys are critiquing Athlean X to get more views, yet if they were honest themselves, wouldn't be appealing to as large of an audience. The point is that as a natural, you really have to take the advice from an enhanced athlete with a grain of salt. Of course, I would listen to an IFBB pro bodybuilder like Kai Green, even if I was a natural, but a fake natty that looks slightly better than me probably doesn't have much advice to offer. If all of these vegan weightlifters, for instance, admitted to their drug usage, they wouldn't have the audience. It's funny how the vegans are too stupid to realize that they need steroids to put on muscle. 
They work out for a year and still look like a tumbleweed before their ankle explodes from the lack of animal protein in their diet, probably shitting their brains out from chugging soy shakes thinking they will look like Nimai Delgado. As a smart guy, Jeff probably doesn't see the point in bringing up the negative. Even addressing the fake weights is a step in the wrong direction from a marketing standpoint. Just focus on the positive, show people how strong you actually are. That being said, you know, it really depended on how much this blew up. You know, if over 10% of his viewer base was aware of the fake weights, you know, it needs to be addressed in some honest way. But I think we're past that point and, and he needs to save some face in some way. Now, I wonder if that person who figured out Jeff was using fake weights tried to reach out to him to remedy the situation first. You know, I mean, it would have been a great idea to try to get a collaboration, you know, warn Jeff about the fake weights, have him take the videos down, you know, you get a little something in return. And I think that would have been the right decision to make. I, I still can't believe that these people tried to blow something so insignificant in three videos from five years ago out of proportion. Of course, everything has to tie back to what's going on in the world. You know, <laughs> why are we even talking about this BS when half the people still don't have access to a gym? You know, it seems like fitness influencers are just trying to jump on anything as a distraction to keep their revenue flowing, keep people distracted. What we want to take away from this is that there really isn't anyone that's going to tell you 100% of the truth and the majority of these people will line up with mainstream values and ideas just to make a mediocre paycheck. So thank you guys for joining me. Definitely let me know what type of fitness videos you would like to see in the future. I have a whole list myself and of course I know a lot of you guys want my actual workout routine. I don't really know when that's gonna happen. Hopefully this year, worst case scenario, sometime next year. But you guys know how to support me down in the description below. I'll see you guys for the live stream later on Frank Tufano as well as tomorrow's video. Thanks again for joining me, guys.